What's going on, gamers? Jaded from MMO here. Let's call me J Play Jaded. One of the other. I don't care. I'm trying to get Skyrim to work, and for some reason, I'm not seeing the script. There it is. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and continue exactly where we left off in the last episode of my Skyrim playthrough. Which obviously, uh, the primary goal of this is to beat the game because I've never done that, even though I've played thousands of hours of Skyrim. And also, I want I have the Legacy of the Dragonborn, which is an amazing museum that has over 3,000 items I can collect, put into it, and Become High King of Skyrim, which will make me the ultimate power in Skyrim. But I have the Immersive Edition, so I will live in the Blue Palace. It'll be awesome. But we just took out Pine Watch. And on this, in this episode, I just dropped all these bars over here. I've got a gold bar here for 5,000. And I'm, I'm, I don't have enough room in my inventory to carry them around right now. So I'm going to hurry up and make some type of camp, like a base camp that I can use to store my stuff. And the thing I'm doing, though, is I'm trying not to fast travel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it around by White Run, so that it'll be kind of my primary for now. Or maybe I'll take it over by Riverwood. White Run's going to be more stuff is going to be happening out of White Run for now. So maybe I will do White Run. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and head toward White Run. I'm going to set up a camp there, and I'm going to have a place to store my stuff. Another thing I do have is the Khajiit wagon that I have to go on a little quest to get started with that and I believe it's going to take a little while before I can actually have that but it's basically a caravan that I can drive around and store my stuff in so when I take everything back to the Dragonborn Museum I can do it all at once I'll have a nice little carriage parked right outside if I need to leave a dungeon to go store up I can It'll keep the immersion and uh, be pretty awesome so for now, I'm just collecting things. Let's go ahead. Oh, oh shit. I just doubled upon a bandit camp. Looks like we're doing this first. My bad. I'll put myself in this position. Okay, he's down. Where's this guy? Oh, right there. Okay, that guy's down, down. One more hit on this guy, and he's down. He's down right now, but he's gonna get back up. I'll wait for him. There he is. He's dead. All right, so wasn't expecting that to happen, but since it did, we're good now. Here comes the rocks. Could have been deadly. I think that was a tripwire. That was kind of cool. I'm going to go up here on this bridge, get up there and loot those bodies and see if they have anything that I may want. And then we're going to go ahead and head back toward... Riverwood because I haven't done anything in Riverwood yet. In fact, I've been exploring quite a bit and I can't collect all this stuff right now because I don't have enough space. I need to make a backpack is what I need to do. So looks like this is just like a small outpost. Should have grabbed the other Nord Arrow. So it is what it is. Let's go ahead and hop back down the cliff here. I just set off another trap with more rocks. I did. Alright, so that's all good. Now it's safe for uh, travelers by and they won't get crushed by rocks when they're trying to come through here. Some mushrooms too. Alright, so what I'm going to do is head back toward the place I need to be which is Riverwood. Pine Watch is cleared. Falkreath is right there. You know what? I'm going to keep... I'm going to head to Falkreath. This is weird. I'm going to set up a camp still. But I'm going to go to Falkreath to buy the, the, the stuff I need. 
because it's a little bit, it's about the same. It's a little bit closer than Riverwood, so. Let's just go ahead and do that. I'll get the Falk Wreath. I'll find a storage, I'll set up a storage tent. And I'll just kind of work out of there for now. Well, look at this guy. It's a pretty horse. about it, but no, I won't. Pretty sure the Legion is going to be my enemy. Here's Falkreath here. So I'm going to go ahead and go into Falkreath, and I'm going to... I haven't really explored Falkreath that much. In fact, I don't really recall ever being here. Yes! Alright, hold on one sec. Let me go see what's up. Okay, so I do need a drink. That's cool. So th I do know now that that's working. So just have a little bit of ale. Got a little buzz there for a second, but I seem to be okay. And you can see here, this is basically how I'm going to be making money in this playthrough. So I have these property signs. This one's uh, 45000 because it's actually pretty expensive. Wow. But once I start buying these properties, which is like almost every property in Skyrim, even the inns and stuff, I have a sign out here in front. It's probably like 167000 So I'll be purchasing those, and then they're going to pay me rent. The rent comes in like once a month or so, or, one, or once a week maybe. So only we'll like 200 bucks there, 200 bucks here. Okay, so first is wood. Yes. I need to chop some wood so I can make a fire. Oh no, the wood weighs too much. Stop. No, no, I'm not gonna cut that one. Okay, I'm gonna cut that one. Okay, now I have too much stuff on me, so we're gonna have to drop the wood I just collected. Oh, shoot, man. Found 312, 2468. Man, this is not cool. That silver bullion is way too much. Okay, I'm gonna drop this as well. Okay, but just for a second, there's a freaking silver bar laying in the middle of the street there. I need to go find the blacksmith. I need a tanning rack. I'm assuming there's a blacksmith over here somewhere. Here we go. Perfect. Okay. Let's see if I can get my backpack crafted. That will be very helpful. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a tent. I should have enough stuff to make a tent now. Or the backpack. That would be helpful. Um, why is the tent not even on this list? Oh, man, oh, man. All right, so let's go ahead and make some leather. No. There's a tent. <coughs> okay. I'm going to go ahead and make more leather so I can make a large tent. Okay, we're going to craft a large tent. And now we're going to work on getting a... Only a hearty soul travels the road. That will work. That will work. I can take that now. Set up my skinning. Okay, so it's too heavy to carry. The large tent weighs 16 pounds. I'm at 305 out of 305, though. So let's drop something small. Let's drop the firewood. All right, so I can't build anything else yet. Let's go get that tent placed. Back by Pine Watch. <sighs> Man, okay. So I'm going to run back down the path to Pine Watch. 
don't have a horse yet either, which really sucks. Come on. Am I inside? Why am I here? I'm on the wrong side of the town. I gotta go back through here. What is this? It's a horse. Is anyone watching right now? Can I kill this guy and take his horse? That'd be amazing. This is guard too. Alright. Let me make sure I'm going the right direction. I am. Okay, so here's my goal. I'm gonna run back to Pine Watch. I should be able to put down a tent near there because it's not a city. If I can put a tent out in front of Pine Watch, I can use that as a base of operations for two seconds. I can craft myself a backpack. And that would be nice because if I have a backpack, I will be able to, uh, hold on. I gotta stop collecting things though. I gotta stop collecting things. Um, I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Am I going the wrong way? Heck yeah, I am. I turned off the path like a motherfucker. Following some wilderness path that I don't need to be on. Let's get back on the main path here. Okay. So we're going to make it back over to Pine Watch. Once I get to Pine Watch, I'm going to set up a tent. I'm going to store a lot of my stuff. I'm going to go back and get that iron and get that I left in the street in Falkery if it's still there. Okay, so Pine Watch is right up here to my left. There's the house up there. All right. I believe there's something right over there. No, it wasn't. Okay. Let's just want this for a second. All right, here's Pine Watch. There's my ingots. I'm gonna see if I can set up a camp right here. That would be amazing if I can. Yes. Sweet. All right, so I did pitch a tent right here. Worked out perfectly. So if I go to choose function, crafting. Now I have a crafting camp here grindstone, a workbench, an anvil. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to need a sleeping tent. Unless I can sleep in the bed in here. Let me see something. Can I sleep in the Pine Watch bed? I already killed the inhabitants of the Pine Watch uh, house here. If I can sleep in this bed, where is there a bed? There should be a bed. That was the uh, old owner. Oh, good, I can. Perfect. Okay, so I have a bed and I have the tent camp outside. She doesn't have any... Uh... Okay, perfect. This house is going to do. This is going to be kind of my refuge for a little bit. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to pick up all these bars that I could not hold. And the problem is I have to have a second tent to do storage. So I'm going to build a small tent real quick and make it a storage tent and leave it out here for now. So let's go ahead and do some more leather. And some leather strips. There's another tent. Yes. And we're going to build a lot of leather now. Oh, that's all the leather I had. I can make the backpack. We're going to make a big leather backpack. Fuck. Hell yes. Okay, it says I'm carrying too much to be able to run still. But now I can go here to items and I can equip the backpack and that'll give me 100 additional weight, which brings my total weight up to 405. Sweet. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put a small tent right here next to my big tent. Where's the tent, 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 tent. Not in alphabetical order. What if I just do this? Tent. There's my tent. Let's click on this one. Hey, yes. Let's see what that puts there. Perfect. 
perfect. Okay, this, I could sleep there, but that's not the goal. I have a bed inside. I'm gonna choose function, this is gonna be a storage tent. Beautiful. Now I can go ahead and put all my valuables in this barrel and get all the books in there first. Lots of letters and notes and books. Perfect, I'm gonna hit a five just to make sure everything's saved good. I'm gonna put all my valuables in here that I don't need to carry with me. So we're gonna serious and we're gonna take the gold, the tent, four goldsmith bars, the scrolls can go in there. Silver bullion, hide helmet of illusion. Am I using that? Keep it, the goblin staff. That's a quest item, gold ore, the burnt. Iron War Axe of Embers, Curve Builders, Potion of Pickpocket. I'll keep all my potions. Let's go in here to Weapons. The Woodcutter's Axe there. Good, good. Um, silver Ring will be sold later. I'll keep the food. The ingredients. Don't need these keys on me. And these, I don't even need those. Ebony Ore, Raphonix. Keep a soul gem. Oh, we'll get rid of the soul gems. Keep the leather on me. No, we can leave that too. Petty soul gem. Where's gonna get other strips? All of them. A ruined book. Two things of charcoal. Two iron ore. Four linen wrap. Well, I can Sounds good to me. Really. And then what I want to do. Let's go ahead and drop these a few items here. I'm just gonna actually put them right over here. We'll just drop those last couple items, the silver candlesticks. Ah, they can stay there. Maybe I'll sell them later, unless they roll away. They seem to be hanging out. Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. So now I do have some storage. There's some more food over here. I'm just gonna knock this over. basket out of here play soccer with it that's just cool decoration all right and I believe there was a wood chopping block out here no no it does not oh yeah maybe there was is there a wood chopping block over here no there's not let's go flip this over here Yeah, I'm just trying to put this somewhere out of the way. Perfect. Perfect. It looks like it belongs there. Okay, so I got a little camp set up here right outside the Pine Watch house, which I can sleep in. But I can also easily make another tent. Um, the only thing I cannot do here yet is cook. So let's go ahead and make a quick trip. Well, let, me, uh, let me activate this tent real quick. And I can choose to function. Cancel. Cancel. All right. Well, just remember we're at Pine Rat Watch right now. Pine Watch, Pine Watch. The Pine Watch. Can I move this or is it too heavy? Too heavy. Butterfly. I missed him. Okay, so it's cool because it's also right off the path here and some potatoes over here rolling around still. Alright. So I got a nice little camp set up. I'm going to go back to Falk Reef really quick. A little bit of travel time here. 
One of the things that's crazy is once I get my caravan going, I'll be able to drive that around and just park it where I'm going and fill it up. It'll be faster than walking, slower than riding a horse by myself. But still, it'll be pretty cool because I'll have my own little portable storage unit that is very immersive because it's not like I wouldn't be able to put stuff in the cart in real life. So it makes sense. This will be a very long playthrough, specifically because of the fact that I'm not going to be using fast travel. I'm going to be actually traveling, so it's going to be uh, it's going to be a pretty long uh, journey that we're going to spend a lot of time together, guys. If you want to watch all of them, they might get really boring. Some of them are going to be more boring than others. I'll try and label them appropriately. I'll tell you if there's like a non-eventful episode where nothing happens, and I'll tell you which ones are eventful in the description and where to start watching if you want to see the action-packed parts. Because there will be some crazy stuff going afoot, I'm sure. But there's also going to be a lot of downtime with me just rambling on like this and running around slowly trying to figure out. Wait, which way do I go? I feel like I want to go down. Yeah, I think I want to go to the right. There's Fall Free. Oh, wow, I'm like way up on a cliff. Can I slowly climb down this cliff like this? Looks like I can. Perfect. Perfect. All right, so I know that I left something in the street here. It was a silver bar of sorts. Oh, that's floating in the air right here. That's really strange, but not a problem. I still got my silver bar back. <coughs> and here's that wood chopping block. So we're going to go ahead and chop some more wood. And I don't have the woodcutter's axe because I left it back at camp. That's fine. Um, I did notice that I don't think... I, oh, I do have a chopping block at the camp, don't I? I think I do. I think I can chop wood at my camp now. I think I can do everything at my camp now. Um, let's go ahead and go into Dead Man's Drink here. Actually, no. No, 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 no. We're not doing any kind of inns yet. We'll do those ends in specific episodes because each inn has something in it to do. So instead, I'm going to look for a well. Does this town have a well? She's picking flowers too. I believe the town should have a well. There's a well right here. Is this a well? No, this is a, a grinder. It's to make a sack of flour or grain. Oh, I'm starving. Let's go ahead and eat some food. Eat some bear roast. Nice. I feel much better. I'm gonna take this egg. Can't take water from the troughs. That sucks. Okay, I feel like there should be a well somewhere around here. More chopping blocks. Oh, you know what? There might be an axe over here. A hearty welcome to Faltry. All of Skyrim's true sons. Welcome. I just need a well. Well, well, well. I feel like there has to be a well in Faltry. I know there's one in Riverwood. And there is also one in White Run. <coughs> Never really paid attention to wells because it wasn't really needed. But I'd rather get some water than drink ale to quench my thirst because sometimes there it is. There's the well. Okay, let me see how much the water weighs. Point five. Oh, cool. Awesome. So I might as well stock up on water. Should be one. So now I just go into items here. Find water. We're going to hit favorite the water. And I can just take a drink of water when I'm thirsty. Awesome. Very cool. Okay. 
I'm stocked up on water. Um, I do need a cooking pot, so I need to see if I can find a, uh, that's the barracks. I need to find a shop. Grave concoctions, that's a potion shot. No, I'm good. That's the Jarl's longhouse. Hello, beautiful. Yes, that's me. Until next time. I'm a sexy beast. What's this say? That's the dead man's drink. That's gonna be the tavern. We'll do taverns and inns later. Great pine goods. This sounds like what I want. So let's go ahead and take a look at this guy's inventory real quick. What's going on, man? I'd like to buy some of your finest stuff. Unlike my brother, I have no dislike of strangers. Met lots of them while I was a storm cloak. Oh, you were a storm cloak, huh? What have you got for sale? That sort of thing. Let's see what you got here, buddy. Okay, so we're looking for something. Let's go ahead and switch to cheap value here. Go to your account book. Hmm. All right, so specifically, I'm looking for a couple things. I'm looking for a book, How to Become a Landlord. This one here. 76 gold. I'm going to buy that. And I'm also looking for There's a small tent here for 182. Let me have 470 gold. So I'm not going to buy that yet. The other thing I was looking for was A cooking pot. That's what I'm looking for. Cooking pot. It's only 12. Yes, I'm buying the cooking pot. Those are the two things I came in here to get. You can see, obviously, this guy has something right here. An ornate drinking horn that I would love to have, but I'm not going to take that right now because he's awake and he's standing in here. So we'll come back later when I'm more sneaky. Like I said, it's going to be a long playthrough. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure I'm heading the right direction. And of course, I'm not. So we're going to turn around and we're going to head out town this way. I'm going to go set up camp. Look at this. Is that a goat? There's a goat walking around over here. Yeah, so this is, <laughs> this is kind of cool. Because playing this way, it's going to make me really think about what I'm doing and how far I'm going from my base camp. Because this actually is a pretty good little run right here just from this house in the Pine Watch to Falkreath. So I need to pay attention. So if I had a horse, it would be a little easier to transport stuff. Once I get the carriage, it would be way easier to transport stuff because I don't actually need to make stops. I can just keep going. I believe you can sleep in the Khajiit carriage as well. So that's going to be nice. Did I go the right way? I did. We're going to keep going this way toward Pine Watch. No worries. Yeah, we're going the right way. Let's get a little boost of energy here. Ran, 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 ran. That was a cooking pot that was laying on the ground right there. I just passed it. I'm going to be so pissed. So I know Pine Watch is up here. I'm going to grab these mushrooms too. Oh, come on, man. Up here. Here's my camp. And this time we're going to go ahead and go to the wood chopping block, which I believe, yeah, I have over here. Wait, is this a wood chopping block? Wait a minute, does this not have a wood chopping block? Oh, wow. Wait, can I chop wood inside? Oh. Very interesting. Okay, let me see something. Can I make leather right now? No, I can't. Okay, this is very interesting. So I have the tanning rack in there. 
Is there a wood chopping block buried over here in the wall somewhere that I can't see because I put the tent in the wrong place? Apparently not. All right then. Okay, we're gonna need a third tent. All right, so let's go ahead and see if I have leather in here, which I should. Any hides? I don't think I have hides. Can I make a tent with one leather? Please say I can. I cannot. I need more leather. All right then, let's go on a quick hunting trip. I think I could probably just run into the woods right here. See if I can find something to kill. I hit F5, oh, what's this? No way, just a dead fucking animal laying on the tree. Look at this, got an elk hide. That's beautiful. That was like beautiful, how does that even happen? That was cool. All right, let's see if that's enough. Come in here and make some more leather. No. Nope, need more. All right, let's go back out one more time. See if I can find just one more animal. This is a potato. I do kind of like the idea of running into the woods here. I think this is a good place to hunt. this some water down here are those bodies oh this is the camp that I, I remember coming to this camp I killed those guys I left their bodies floating in the water here <coughs> that was in an older episode they have a wood cutting block here that'd be cool Take that. <coughs> Excuses. I already searched all these people. Let's go ahead and double check. Yeah, they have nothing I want because I already took what I wanted from them. Could follow this river down here though and see if we can find a a deer or something. <coughs> There's the bear that I killed. I remember being here. I may have already killed everything over here. Except for those guys. You know what? Ooh, there's a deer. That was perfect. Kill him first. Oh, these are Falk with guards. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have done that. I did not realize those were guards. I thought they were Imperials. I need glasses. Badly. Well, that sucks because now I'm not going to be able to go in <coughs> to Falkreath for a little while. So that's happening. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it right here. I'm going to hide, make sure I'm totally hidden. Yeah, they don't know where I'm. Good. I got lots of food in here. I got enough stuff to kind of survive a while. So uh, I got some books to read and everything. Maybe I'll hang out here for a few days. I 
can cook in here too, right? I mean, that was the whole point. I was getting the cooking pot together. Probably has a stove downstairs. Let me see. Perfect. But no cooking pot. That's hilarious. And no chopping block, but wood. Well, is what it is. Let's go ahead and, uh, can I move you? Because I'm not strong enough to pick her up yet. <coughs> More cooking pots. Okay. Can I put a cooking pot on this fire? Let's find out. Wait, what? Oh, I'm under food. Apparently, I cannot put a cooking pot on that fire. Wait, can I just throw the cooking pot down? Is that something I can do? Where's the cooking pot? What? Okay. Can I just drop this? No, it won't let me drop it. All right then. Oh, there's a fucking cooking pot right here. <laughs> That's so much better. Let's go ahead and just cook a bunch of food. Eat some vegetable soup, drink some water. I like the cabbage soup. My thirst has been quenched. Oh, is that what I get from cabbage soup? Do I still need to eat some meat? Let's go ahead and eat a chicken egg. My hunger has been sated. And we'll go ahead and take a nap, and we're good for the day, the night. At 6 o'clock, we'll sleep until morning. Screw it. So I think that's all we're going to do this episode. Um, I did set up my camp out here, which is what I wanted. I still want to get a chopping block so I can make a fire. And I need to also get a... Uh, I think that's it. Got my storage now. Need some bread. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm pretty good. Next episode, we're going to deal with this Valkyrie problem because they hate me there. I might actually start heading back toward... Uh, Riverwood and actually start doing the story mode adventure stuff because I've just by, kind of been wandering and I've been having a good time, but I'm not getting anything done. So I'll see you guys. Keep MMOing. Hey, thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you. If you like what I do, please hit those follow, like, subscribe, and share buttons. And for links to my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook, my YouTube, the MMOing store, the podcast, and more, check out my website mmoing.news.blog. And if you want to help me get a real .com and keep the stream flowing smoothly, consider becoming an MMOing supporter. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next stream.